In this video demonstration, we will show you the steps to configure a wired network to handle guest network access service using ClearPass Guest Module and Alcatel Lucent Switch. In this network topology, we will need a Windows PC for guest user. An Alcatel Lucent 6850E running software version 6.4.6R01, acting as an authenticator switch. And a CPPM authentication server with ClearPass Guest Module. Traffic flow for guest access. When a guest user is connected to Alcatel Lucent Switch, Based on MAC authentication service, user is assigned to a restricted user network profile role. When a guest user opens up a browser and try to go to the Internet, AOS switch redirects the HTTP or HTTPS traffic to CPPM Captive Portal Authentication Service, which allows him to log in using the sponsored guest account information. Based on Captive Portal Authentication Service, CPPM determines whether the user is authorized. And, if so, it returns a radius COA attribute to AOS switch to move the user into guest user network profile role. Steps to configure CPPM and AOS 6850E for guest network access. Configuring captive portal page and sponsored guest account. Configuring Enforcement Profiles and Policies Configuring MAC and Captive Portal Authentication Services Configuring AAA Authentication and Accounting Configuring User Network Profiles and 802.1x Port Configuring AAA Redirect Server for HTTP HTTPS Finally verify user is able to authenticate and get appropriate network access. From ClearPass Policy Manager, click on ClearPass Guest Link. From the Guest page click on the List Accounts and then click on the Create Link to create Guest Account. From here fill in the appropriate name, company, email, when to activate, when will the account expire, account role. After creating the guest account, navigate to the configuration page on the left side. From here scroll down and click on Web Logins. From here click on Create a new Web Login page to provide Captive Portal authentication for guest access. From here fill in the appropriate information and login page name. Here we create a login page name secure-login. From the vendor settings, select Alcatel Lucent, and for the login method, select server initiated RFC 3576. From the pre auth check drop down, select None, no extra checks will be made network. After successful authentication, you can configure a URL to redirect the guest client. Finally scroll down and click on Save Changes, and verify the login page. From the main ClearPass Policy Manager, click on Configuration, Enforcement, 
and profiles. From here, add a new profile to return to Alcatel Lucent Switch a user network profile with restricted access, which only allows DHCP, DNS, and redirection to clear past guest web login page. Add another enforcement profile for guest access and select Radius COA from the template. After a successful authentication, CPPM will send a COA Radius packet to the switch with the appropriate user network profile. Next navigate to the Configuration page, Enforcement, and Policies and click on Add Enforcement Policy. Create a Radius Enforcement Policy with the following condition. If the authentication type is, Mac Authentication and it is unknown, then return a Restricted Enforcement Profile UNP to the switch. Next create a web authentication enforcement policy with the following condition. If the tips type and the user role is guest, then return a COA guest enforcement profile to the switch. Next navigate to the configuration page and service and click on add service. 
from the service type, select Mac Authentication Template, and fill in the appropriate name and description. Click Next, and for authentication methods, select Allow All Mac Authentication, and leave the default authentication sources endpoint database. Click Next, and skip the roles mapping policy. On the Service Enforcement page, select the Mac Authentication Enforcement policy, we created earlier from the drop-down box. Click Next, to go to Service Summary, and Save. Next navigate to the configuration page, and service, and click on add service. From the service type, select web-based authentication template, and fill in the appropriate name and description. From the service authentication tab, select guest user repository, as the authentication source. Click next and skip the roles mapping policy. On the service enforcement page and select the web-based authentication enforcement policy we created earlier from the drop-down box. Click Next, to go to Service Summary, and Save. Navigate to Configuration, Network, and Devices. Click on Add Device, and fill in the appropriate IP address, description, and shared secret password. For vendor type, instead of selecting Alcatel Lucent, select Aruba and enable Radius COA. By selecting Aruba as the vendor type, we will be able to use some of the default profiles and policies. Use the AAA RADIUS server command to configure the CPPM to be used as the RADIUS server for 802.1x and MAC authentication. Next configure two user network profiles, one for restricted access name UNP-Restricted, and another one for guest access name UNP-Guest. To configure for captive portal authentication. Use the command AAA redirect endpoint to the CPPM IP address. Next enable the switch port for 802.1x authentication by using the command's VLAN port. We are now done with the configuration of CPPM and switch. Next plug in a wired network PC, and log in to the switch, to confirm the Mac is authenticated, and assigned UNP-Restricted. Open up a browser and attempt to connect to a valid web page. The user should be redirect to the CPPM guest login page. Put in the guest credential, and confirm internet access connectivity after successful authentication. Log in to the switch to confirm the user is able to move into UNP guest profile. From CPPM's access tracker, check for authentication log to confirm the user is able to authenticate to the appropriate services.